right. So we have um, one one PM. Um, let's let's maybe slowly start. Um, so welcome um, everyone to the first um, Sonic workshop um, in Europe. I would say um, at the OCP in um, in San Jose last year there was an a larger event um, um, created by the the Linux Foundation. Um, now we're here together, and I can see you know um, a great audience, and it shows me that Sonic is a very important topic. Sonic is still gathering um, a lot of momentum. And what we want to talk about um, today is really how Sonic um, can, can help us, you know, in our environment, how Sonic um, looks like today, what are the use cases of Sonic. And we also, of course, um, will learn from, um, from our experts here the different use cases they had, the toolings um, they were using, what does Sonic look as, as a whole today? So talking, talking a bit about the workshop agenda today. Um, so we, we will start, um, I will make a quick, quick start um, with, um, with how to get supersonic. It's um, pretty, pretty short um, from my perspective. Um, we will have um, a use case from, from, from the Deutsche Telekom um, presented by, by Jens today. Um, following by a an, an monitoring and telemetry use case. And this monitoring and telemetry use case is going into the direction of um, a an, an tool which we defined as, as, as Stodis. It's um, completely open source. And um, we will show what, what can be done with it on the monitoring of the control plane and, um, and data plane. Following on that, um, there will be um, um, Cameron presenting um, the, the, the Broadcom side of you, so going into the telemetry perspective of Sonic even, even deeper, um, looking at the ASIC specific features. So what can I do if I have real time um, monitoring information coming, coming from the, from the ASIC? Following on that, um, um, my colleague Volker Schiel will um, take over and um, give us an, a general introduction about Sonic. Um, then we will look into the, the GitOps um, based um, orchestration approach. And finally, we will look into um, a use case of, of Credo. And Credo is um, creating very special cables, um, which, um, which um, yes, um, provide um, um, high availability at the end um, in, in a specific environment. Um, that, is, that is the following point. So just, just to, to present um, our, our team of experts here, so, um, so we have Jens um, from, from, from Deutsche Telekom here. We have um, um, Chris from, from WeaveWorks. We have um, Amit from, from, from Credo as, as an expert. And um, Volker Scheel and, um, and Kamel um, from Stordis. So maybe a bit about um, Stordis itself. So who is Stordis? Stordis, um, we are focusing since 2014 on to open disaggregated networking. Our core focus is really work with the hardware vendors, work with the software vendors, being an independent party on that side, providing consultancy service and finding the right solutions for, for our partners and our, our customers. Um, side of that, um, we have a development, of course, um, which, which we are um, all providing towards um, the open source field. And um, this, this development is just enriching, helping the, the Sonic ecosystem also to grow. Having worked with, um, with, with multiple vendors, as I was saying, for the last um, nine or 10 years, we were, of course, encountering um, several things. And I would like to share a bit of our experience on, on the side um, with you, because um, if, if we look at, at the importance and why, why Sonic is, um, is key today, um, it is, it is um, um, pretty simple. We, we, we did had a quite um, long, long journey there. In this journey, we met many providers on the, on the open networking system, ecosystem, and we started to work with, with all of them. So what is, what is the main um, um, kind of concern or, or issue we were, we were running into during the last time? Um, the issue was um, pretty simple. Um, we started to, to work. We have started to deploy um, larger, larger projects with um, customers. Um, and we figured out that um, some of these software vendors um, have a short-term, a mid-term goal of 
kind of selling their company, right? So they wanted to go um, just the, the VC path, you know, um, getting, getting kind of um, um, the money out of the organization as fast as, as you um, could. So what, what does it mean for, for someone using the infrastructure today? Yeah? It's, it's, it's pretty hard because you always start to, to recreate your infrastructure from the scratch. Yeah? You have your deployment, your network is operating, running, you have your automation, you have your orchestration platform in place. Then this vendor is disappearing. So where do you end up? And I believe this is, this is the biggest concern in the, in the industry we, we see today. So where is Sonic coming into, into play there? Sonic is an open source project. And first of all, you get a certain level of control of the network stack itself. So this control is providing you a security, a security of the way going forward. So even if you look at the different, let, let me call them derivates of Sonic, um, where you have um, enterprise level of support and maybe an, an enriched um, feature set as well, um, you still have the control of your network stack and this is this is very very important um going forward um following following on 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 this part um you also want to have still the flexibility to choose um your hardware platforms and there are more and more partners committing to that and um, um we can we can see today um company like like edgecore with a full portfolio on the data center side um with full sonic support the community sonic support but also the the enterprise sonic support and we can see um celestica following on that um and other players also also arising there with a with a full portfolio so you you get um full independency on 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 that side as well so what is what what else is important, of course, in the in the Sonic ecosystem? And I believe um, it's 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 all about the community. The community need to grow because only the community can make things happen. The community can can enrich the feature set. You know, the community can bring the requirements, and the community can make sure that we have a standardization layer of of Sonic because this is this is something what was missing before. There was never never an an operating system platform, which which was de facto standard, and this is this is what um, what we see today. So Sonic is slowly becoming um, the open networking Linux for bare metal switches at the end in the data center, and this part this part is um, is, is is very important. Um, I believe if you if you pair this whole whole concept and you think um, long term about it with the support services and and also enriching it with with the features that required you are getting into an a very nice long term model where you do not have to redo everything yourself and this is this is about sonic i believe um, um, i made just just a quick start um, we all need to think long term because um, it's, it's a long journey you're going and it's about developing your environment further than always starting from the beginning, from the scratch in deploying any, any other infrastructure. So that's, um, that's about me already. Um, so I'll, I'll hand over to Jens. Thanks a lot. <laughs>